Hello, today we are going to add drag and drop functionality to our website. I am going to drag and drop one file. Now in console we can see the functions we defined, and we can see what is going on the information of what is going on once the handle is executed. Filestack can help you provide amazing experiences to your users through various carefully crafted UI integration. Now, we are going to see where this file is stored. I am opening my Filestacks dashboard, and then Content Browser. Here I can see that my file has been already uploaded, so this is how the drag and drop feature works. To add drag and drop functionality to the website, we need to create free account on Filestack. You can easily create account for free by clicking the link given below in description. Filestack is the optimal file handling service for developers. Easily upload files into your app. 3.6x faster with 100x more reliability. These file uploads can then be transformed simply between file types without loss of quality. Filestack provides responsive, reliable and secure delivery so that your files are delivered with unparalleled speed and control. You can simplify complex tasks using Filestack workflows, an easy-to-manage UI that lets you automate file processing commands into a single API call. Add intelligence to your workflow so your content is tagged, safe for work, and virus-free before it ever hits your app. Filestack have coded in the logic so that you don't have to. You just implement all of this with just a few lines of code. When you submit the sign-up form, it will send verification link on your email, so you have to verify your email by clicking the link you have received in your email. To verify my email, I am going to open my inbox. Here, I can see the verification link. I am clicking this link to open Filestack's dashboard. Now I am going to create HTML, CSS, and JavaScript file. Now I am adding a personal script to control this HTML file. and then it is needed to add style to see drag and drop rectangle where we are going to be able to actually drag and drop our files.
Now, we need to add the libraries for the drag and drop feeder. So we need to move to the documentation page and here we are going to find the lower the script from from the drag and drop feeder. So we need to copy the script and paste it into HTML code. We just need to modify the version. We are using version 1 in this case. I'm going to define my API key. Remember that this API key will be found in our developer portal, so I'm going to copy it and paste it into my code. Let's check its functionality. Is it working correctly? I am going to drag and drop one file. Now in console we can see the functions we defined, and we can see what is going on the information of what is going on once the handle is executed. Now, we are going to see where this file is stored. I am opening my Filestacks dashboard. And then Content Browser. Here I can see that my file has been already uploaded. So this is how the drag and drop feature works. Thank you for watching my video. If you have any issue regarding this, feel free to connect me.